What's up everyone, Alex and Elena here, and in today's video, we want to invite you to experience the opening weekend of the month-long Houston Rodeo and Livestock Show. We'll be checking out the Carnival as well as the World Championship Barbecue Contest. The Rodeo is located at NRG Stadium, and you can get there in a number of different ways. You can drive or take a rideshare, but the traffic and parking once you get close is horrible. So we found that the easiest and most hassle-free way is to drive to downtown, park your car near one of the metro tram stations, and take the tram down to the stadium. Depending on how busy the tram is, expect the ride to be around 20 to 30 minutes from the downtown area to the stadium. Once you arrive, there will be plenty of clearly marked signs as well as staff members helping guide you to the entrance of the rodeo. Before entering the rodeo grounds, you will find ticket booths that sell all sorts of variations of tickets, from plain entry to all-inclusive game and food packages. Because the World Championship Barbecue Contest was happening this weekend, entry tickets also included a bonus-free barbecue plate, but more on that later. Alright, so we just purchased our tickets. Um, we're going to barbecue, so you need tickets and you need invitation. I want to go to barbecue. Yeah, but the tickets are good for the carnival. You can walk around and it's a, it's a $20 each to, to buy tickets. You're better off buying the tickets here if there's no line because if you buy it online, there's a $2 service charge per ticket. So it's $22 if you buy it online. Anyways, we're going to make our way in and then um, walk around the carnival and then we're going to show you the barbecue area. Plenty of porta potties are spread out throughout the rodeo grounds, so no need to worry if you find yourself in need of some relief. The first area you'll find is the massive carnival. And believe me, I've been to a lot of carnivals, and I've got to say, that this has to be one of, if not the biggest one, I've ever come across. In case you didn't get any game or ride tickets at the entrance, you can always buy some within the grounds. Both ticket booths and staff members are strewn about ready to receive your hard-earned cash. Games are all typical carnival style, with virtually little to zero chance of winning. Unless, of course, you happen to get lucky. It would be a challenge to count how many rides that are available. It's mind-boggling how many there are. 
From kid-friendly to adult-oriented, you name it, they've got it. Now for the best part of the carnival, the food. There are literally hundreds of food stands throughout the grounds. Fried Twinkies, fried Oreos, turkey legs, sausages on a stick, giant corn dogs, and the list goes on and on. It's basically food heaven for cholesterol lovers. Now that we've gotten the carnival out of the way, let's head over to the World Championship Barbecue Contest. The contest is made up of over 100 competitors, each with their own private tent area where they host private parties. You can simply walk around and admire all the tents from the outside, or if you're lucky enough to get an invitation to a tent, you can enjoy free flow alcoholic beverages and finger licking barbecue inside. This year, we were invited into the Chicken Shack tent. Each tent is unique in their setup, size, entertainment, and selection of food. We typically go early to avoid the crowds, so as you can see, it's not too bad yet. But believe me, they get packed as it gets later into the evening. In case you didn't happen to get an invitation to a tent, not all is lost. What a lot of people don't realize 
is that the entrance ticket you purchased includes a free plate of barbecue. What you'll want to do is look out for the signs that are marked free barbecue. There will be an entrance to a large white tent with a covered outdoor area where they will hand out barbecue plates. I didn't notice them scanning tickets so I'm guessing you can pick up as many plates as you like. The walk back to the tram station through the carnival is a pretty good trek, so we decided to go the lazy but scenic route on the gondola. It's definitely worth the price of admission. You get an amazing view of the carnival grounds from up above, but if you're afraid of heights though, you might want to skip this one. tickets per per person. per person so it's kind of scary a little down there it's really inside. you feel scared yeah i don't <laughs> it's no different than when we go skiing or snowboarding Once you get off the gondola, it's a short walk back to the tram. Just follow the signs and you'll be set. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, then be sure to hit that like button down below and please consider subscribing to our channel. 
See you in our next video.